1931, Abbott Labs brought on board an employee named Grace Groner. But Grace wasn't just any typical employee. Despite having limited opportunities, she possessed something extraordinary, a wealth-building mindset and habits that would lead her to achieve what seemed impossible to many. Grace transformed a mere $180 into a staggering $7 million fortune. Yes, you heard it right, from $180 to $7 million. And how did she accomplish such a feat? It was all about the growth mindset and habits she practiced. Grace's journey began three years into her tenure at Abbott Labs when she made a seemingly simple decision. She purchased three shares of Abbott stock, each priced at $60, amounting to a total investment of $180. This step, modest as it appeared, planted the seeds for an incredible financial legacy. Grace didn't just hold on to these shares, she nurtured them with patience and foresight. She continuously reinvested the dividends, and over the years, through stock splits and market appreciation, her investment multiplied astonishingly. By the time she was 100 years old, Grace's original investment had grown into more than 100,000 shares. The discipline of starting small, reinvesting wisely, and letting time do its work was her strategy. This disciplined approach to investing, coupled with her wealth-building mindset, was how she slowly but surely built her multi-million dollar fortune. Grace Groner's story is a powerful testament to the impact of a growth mindset and consistent financial habits. It shows us that building wealth is not just about the initial amount of money, but about how you manage and grow it over time. Most wealthy people are rich because of their mindset that paved the way for their financial success. This mindset, coupled with effective habits, is the foundation for anyone aspiring to grow their financial assets. Do you want to build wealth and secure your future? It's about developing a wealthy mindset and nurturing money habits that empower you to make the most of your resources. Wise spending, smart investment decisions, and a focus on long-term growth are key. Now, to truly understand the essence of wealth building mindset and habits, it's essential to first understand what a wealth mindset is and why it's so important. Think of a wealth mindset as a special pair of glasses. Just like glasses help you see the world more clearly, a wealth mindset sharpens your financial vision, helping you spot opportunities and navigate challenges. Why does a wealth mindset matter, you might ask? Let's put it in perspective. Imagine if your financial life was a movie. Without a wealth mindset, it's like watching a thriller where you're always on the edge of your seat, unsure of what's coming next. A staggering 60% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck, akin to a suspenseful scene where the hero is just about to run out of time. And let's not forget the horror show of credit card debt. Around 175 million Americans actively using credit cards, many are like actors in a tragic drama, impulsively spending on things they don't need, creating a cyclone of debt that's harder to escape than a maze in a horror movie. So what exactly is a wealth mindset? Picture it as a toolkit for financial success. It's a collection of beliefs, perceptions, and attitudes that shape your financial decisions. Like choosing the right glasses for a sunny day, a wealth mindset brings clarity to your financial path. It's about spending wisely, making smart investments, and continually looking for ways to improve your financial standing with minimal risk. Now, to understand a wealth-building mindset, it's important to also know about a poor mindset. Poor mindset is like wearing sunglasses at night. It just doesn't help you see better. It includes beliefs like thinking earning money is wrong, expecting wealth without effort, or feeling stuck in a never-ending cycle of debt. This mindset is like a financial black hole, sucking away your potential wealth. But here's the punchline. Developing a wealth-building mindset and habits isn't as hard as trying to teach a cat to swim. It requires discipline, sure, but with a dash of dedication, anyone can develop it. It's about spending less than you earn, a concept as rare these days as a unicorn, making investments that make sense, not like buying stocks in companies that make left-handed screwdrivers, and continuously looking for ways to improve your financial standing. To wrap it up, let's borrow a quote from Warren Buffett. Do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving. 
This sums up the essence of a wealth-building mindset, and habits isn't about how much you earn, but how you manage and grow what you have. Now that you know what a wealth-building mindset is and why it is so crucial, next let's talk about how you can develop such mindset and habits. Well, the journey of developing wealth-building mindset and habits begins with setting goals, being patient and persevering. It's a bit like deciding to run a marathon. You don't just wake up one day and sprint 26.2 miles. Similarly, very few wealthy people hit the jackpot overnight. Building wealth is more like a marathon than a sprint. It takes time, effort, and a lot of sweating. Hopefully more financial sweating than actual sweating. Take, for example, Mark Zuckerberg. He didn't become a billionaire because Facebook magically turned into a money tree. It was his hard work, dedication, and relentless pursuit of a goal that made Facebook what it is today. It's like baking a cake. You can't just throw the ingredients into an oven and hope for the best. You need a recipe, a plan, the right ingredients, goals, and patience to see it through. Thomas J. Stanley, in his book, The Millionaire Next Door, highlights a fascinating fact. He notes that the average wealthy person spends 10 times more time planning their finances than the average middle-class individual. That's like saying the average couch potato might glance at a treadmill while a marathon runner is out there clocking miles every day. When it comes to setting financial goals, think of it as training for that financial marathon. Start by setting a goal for how much you'll save each month. Also, make sure your plan isn't as unrealistic as expecting a cat to bark. The aim is to create a budget that's like a friendly GPS, guiding you on where to go without leading you off a cliff. It's about examining your expenses, finding areas to cut back, like opting for the store brand cereal instead of the fancy one, and sometimes making tough choices, like saying goodbye to those weekly luxury spa visits. If saving money is as challenging for you as waking up on a Monday morning, don't aim to save 10% of your paycheck right off the bat. That's setting yourself up for a face plant. Why not start with saving just 1%? It's like training a puppy. Start with small, manageable tasks and gradually increase the complexity. Nurture the habit of saving. Watch it grow. And before you know it, you'll be scaling up your savings like a pro. As we said before, developing wealth-building mindset and habits is not a race. It's a journey. It's about setting realistic goals, patiently working towards them, and persevering even when the going gets tough. It's the small, consistent steps that lead to big results. Next crucial step in wealth-building mindset and habits is putting yourself out there. Networking and presenting yourself confidently are key ingredients in this wealth-building recipe. Achieving your goals while cooped up at home, talking to your plants or pet, is as likely as a penguin winning a marathon. It just doesn't happen. To build wealth, you need to step out, mingle, and network. Think of networking like a garden party where every conversation is a seed that could grow into a fruitful opportunity. Imagine you're trying out a business pitch. You can't mumble through it like you're asking a high school crush out on a date. You need to be as confident as a peacock, expressing your passion with every word. People tend to remember those who stand out, the bold, the passionate, the courageous, it's like being the lead singer of a band. You're in the spotlight, and your energy is contagious. Also, networking isn't just about swapping business cards like they're Pokemon cards. It's about connecting with like-minded individuals who share your drive. It's finding your tribe, your financial support group. These connections can turn into valuable partnerships, mentorships, or even friendships. Think about making friends at work. It turns colleagues into allies, it's like turning a group of solo artists into a rock band, each bringing their unique skills to the table, creating a symphony of success. Here's a fictional scenario to illustrate the point. Meet Max and Leo. Max is a networking ninja. He attends events, joins online forums, and isn't shy about sharing his goals. Leo, on the other hand, prefers to keep to himself, thinking his work will speak for itself. Fast forward a year and Max has built a network of contacts, gained valuable insights, and even found investors for his project. Leo, still brilliant but unnoticed, wonders why opportunities aren't knocking on his door. This tale highlights the power of networking and self-presentation in cultivating wealth-building mindset and habits. 
In essence, putting yourself out there is like planting your flag on the moon. It's a declaration of your presence, your ambitions, and your readiness to seize opportunities. It's a vital part of developing wealth-building mindset and habits. So brush up your elevator pitch, wear your confidence like a superhero cape, and get ready to network your way to wealth. Remember, in the orchestra of life, you want to be the conductor, not just another instrument. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far and want more topics like this, comment the word more so I know. The next step in mastering wealth building mindset and habits is understanding the power of investing for your future today. This concept is like planting a tree. You might not enjoy its shade immediately, but over time it becomes a source of comfort. Similarly, the magic of compound interest allows your investments to grow exponentially over time. It's like adding yeast to dough. It makes your money rise. Compound interest is a bit like a snowball rolling down a hill. As it rolls, it picks up more snow, interest, getting bigger and bigger. Each year, you earn interest not just on your initial investment, but also on the interest from previous years. This process turns your money into an ever-growing snowball of wealth. Consider the story of Bill Gates. In 1994, he was worth a respectable $9.3 billion. Fast forward to 2014, and his wealth had skyrocketed to $81.6 billion. Now, this wasn't just because of Microsoft's sales. A large chunk of that growth came from strategic investments made by his investment manager, Michael Larson. It's like having a master chef in your kitchen. You provide the ingredients, capital, and they whip up a gourmet meal. Investment growth. Investing money is a fundamental wealth-building mindset and habit among the wealthy. And the best part? You don't have to go at it alone. There are plenty of skilled and trustworthy financial advisors out there, ready to be the Robin to your Batman in the financial world. But beware. Leaving your savings idle in a bank account is like keeping a race car parked in the garage. Sure, it's safe, but it's not doing what it's built to do. Go fast, or in this case, grow. Inflation. The sustained increase in prices over time constantly nibbles away at the value of money. It's like going to buy a Snickers bar, only to find out it's no longer five cents, but a whole dollar. If you leave your money in a savings account for too long, its purchasing power diminishes, turning your nest egg into a not-so-golden egg. Now, let's talk investment options. Common methods include 401ks and Roth IRAs. A 401k is like a financial garden you tend to throughout your career. You plant seeds, contributions, often matched by your employer, and watch it grow until retirement. The beauty here is that it reduces your taxable income now, but remember you'll pay taxes when you harvest, withdraw, the money. A Roth IRA, on the other hand, is like a tax-free greenhouse. You use after-tax dollars to fund it, meaning you won't get a tax break now. But when you're ready to enjoy the fruits of your investment, it's all tax-free. Developing a wealth mindset isn't just about making money. It's about making your money work for you, even while you sleep. As the saying goes, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. As we continue to explore wealth-building mindset and habits, let's focus on a critical aspect. Never stopping the hustle. This is about investing in the most valuable asset you have, yourself. It's like being the captain of your ship. You need to be in top shape to steer it through the stormy seas of finance. First off, let's address the elephant in the room, our collective social media addiction. Did you know that globally we spend over two hours on social media every day? That's like marathoning all the Lord of the Rings movies every week. Instead of scrolling endlessly, why not use that time to enhance your wealth building arsenal? This means focusing on your physical and mental health. Eating healthy, getting enough sleep, and exercising aren't just good for your body. They're like supercharging your brain for financial success. Another key to developing wealth-building mindset and habits is sharpening your negotiation skills. Whether it's haggling over your bills, negotiating a higher salary, or clinching a client contract, think of yourself as a financial wizard, turning every conversation into gold. Remember, Wealthy individuals are masters of negotiation, squeezing every dollar to their advantage. Now, regarding side hustles, around 44 million Americans earn an average of $25 per hour with a side hustle. That's more than some people make at their regular jobs. From driving for a ride-sharing service to teaching online courses or even officiating weddings, 
The possibilities are as vast as the ocean. The trick is to find a niche you're passionate about. When you love what you do, it doesn't feel like work. It's like finding a hobby that pays. Learning new skills in areas of interest is also a game changer. Imagine you're a chef adding new recipes to your repertoire. You never know when a dish might become the next big hit. The skill you learn today could open up a world of opportunities tomorrow. Let's dive into a fictional scenario. Meet Emily and Sarah. Emily spends her evenings binging TV shows while Sarah uses that time to learn graphic design. Fast forward a year, and Sarah's side hustle in design has not only earned her extra cash, but also landed her a major project with a big company. Meanwhile, Emily, still on season eight of her favorite show, wonders why her financial growth is stagnant. This story underscores the importance of investing time in oneself as part of wealth-building mindset and habits. In the wise words of Warren Buffett, the more you learn, the more you earn. So gear up to hustle hard, learn new skills, and remember in the pursuit of wealth, your greatest investment is in yourself. Keep nurturing those wealth-building mindset and habits and watch as your financial garden blooms with opportunities. Moving forward, another key component of wealth-building mindset and habits is maintaining a positive attitude. Think of it as the sunshine in your financial garden. Without it, nothing grows. You might have heard about the law of attraction, which suggests that like attracts like. It's like a financial boomerang. What you send out comes back to you. If you send out positive thoughts, you're more likely to attract positive outcomes. So if you're constantly thinking about building wealth, you're setting the stage to attract more of it into your life. Fostering positive thoughts of wealth and abundance is crucial. It's like being the cheerleader for your own financial team. If you spend your time wallowing in negativity, it's like trying to run a marathon with weights tied to your feet. You need to start replacing those negative thoughts with empowering ones. Tell yourself, I will be rich, I am good enough, and I can succeed. It's like programming your GPS for success. You need to input the right destination. The road to wealth indeed isn't easy. It's filled with twists and turns, and sometimes it feels like you're driving on a road filled with potholes. But imagine if you started digging those potholes yourself. That's what negative thinking does. To successfully navigate this journey, you need to be your own biggest believer. You have to be completely sold on the idea of your success. Let's paint a fictional picture. Imagine two entrepreneurs, Alex and Jamie. Alex wakes up every day with a mantra, I will succeed. He faces challenges head on with a positive attitude. Jamie, on the other hand, is a bit of a Debbie Downer, always focusing on what could go wrong. Over time, Alex's business thrives, attracting investors and customers alike, while Jamie struggles to get off the ground. This story illustrates how a positive mindset can be a self-fulfilling prophecy in the world of wealth building. Remember, wealth building mindset and habits aren't just about what you do with your money. It's also about how you think. As Henry Ford once said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. So infuse positivity into your financial thoughts and watch as the doors to wealth and abundance swing wide open for you. Keep tending to your financial garden with positivity and soon enough, you'll be reaping the rewards of a bountiful harvest. Next in developing wealth building mindset and habits also means saying goodbye to one major obstacle, excuses. Excuses in wealth building are like rocks in your backpack on a hike. They just weigh you down and slow your progress. Think about it, excuses are the easy way out. They're like saying you can't go to the gym because your favorite show is on. But just like missing a workout, making excuses in your financial journey only harms you in the long run. If you encounter a problem, it's time to roll up your sleeves and dive into some time-tested problem-solving techniques. It's about addressing issues head-on rather than pointing fingers at other factors, or worse, throwing a pity party for yourself. Working with a coach or mentor can be a game-changer here. They're like personal trainers for your finances helping you identify what's holding you back and guiding you towards making positive behavioral changes. It's about taking control of your situation, whether that means asking for help, changing your approach, or even taking a strategic break. Remember, the worst thing you can do is let excuses become your constant companion. Let's bring this to life with a fictional scenario of two friends, Bob and Alice. 
Bob is full of excuses. The market's too risky, he doesn't have enough time to learn about investing. The dog ate his investment guide, you name it. Alice, on the other hand, faces challenges with a problem-solving mindset. She seeks advice, learns from her mistakes, and adapts her strategies. Fast forward a few years and Alice has built a robust investment portfolio while Bob is still making excuses about why he hasn't started. This story illustrates how ditching excuses is integral to wealth-building mindset and habits. In the words of George Washington Carver, 99% of the failures come from people who have the habit of making excuses. To truly embrace wealth-building mindset and habits, you must stop making excuses and start making progress. It's about shifting from a mindset of avoidance to one of action and accountability. So let's throw those excuses out the window and step into a world of proactive wealth building. All right, next step in wealth building mindset and habits is adopting a now mentality. This is about recognizing opportunities and seizing them, much like a surfer catching the perfect wave. It's a balancing act between patience and the ability to jump at new opportunities when they arise. Wealthy individuals often embrace this now mentality. It's like playing a game of financial chess. They're always thinking a few moves ahead and ready to strike when the opportunity presents itself. Sure, this approach might involve some temporary financial losses, but it's about playing the long game. Just like in chess, sometimes you sacrifice a pawn to capture the queen. Let's consider a fictional scenario to illustrate this point. Meet Tom and Jerry, two aspiring entrepreneurs. Tom adopts the now mentality. He jumps at opportunities, speaks at events, volunteers at startups, and is always on the lookout for new experiences. Jerry, however, is more hesitant. He waits for the perfect opportunity and often misses out. Over time, Tom's network and experience grow significantly, opening doors to new ventures and collaborations, while Jerry still waits for that perfect moment. The key takeaway here is that the more experiences you have and the more connected you are, the greater your chances of personal and professional development. It's like adding different spices to your cooking. The more variety you have, the richer the flavor. In the words of Wayne Gretzky, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. This quote perfectly encapsulates the essence of a now mentality in wealth building mindset and habits. It's about not being afraid to take those shots to seize opportunities as they come and not just wait for them to land in your lap. So embrace the now mentality. Be on the lookout for opportunities to grow, to learn, and to connect. Remember, in the journey of wealth building, the present moment is often the best time to act. This proactive approach is a cornerstone in wealth building mindset and habits, transforming the way you navigate the path to financial success. Last but not least, how long does it take to develop a wealth mindset? Well, the journey to develop wealth building mindset and habits can start right now, and that's the beauty of it. It's like deciding to get fit. You don't need to wait for a new year, a new week, or even a new day. You can start immediately with education, strategizing, and action. The key to fostering these habits and mindset is to start small. Each small achievement is like a drop in a bucket, eventually filling it up. These small steps, akin to compound interest, build up over time and propel you closer to your wealth goals. You'll be surprised how quickly, within months, weeks, or even days, you can set your wealth goals on the fast track to success. But remember, there's no one-size-fits-all formula for wealth. Your path might be inventing the next big thing, starting a business with a fantastic co-founder, or like most of us, working hard but saving and investing smartly. It's like choosing a path in a forest. Some might take the scenic route, others the direct path, but ultimately, all paths can lead to the same destination. At the end of the day, it's about taking the route that's right for you. As the famous saying goes, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Those who make it to the end are the individuals who can develop and stick to the wealth building mindset and habits. So let's make it happen. Whether you start by saving a few dollars a week, learning about stocks, or brainstorming business ideas, the important thing is to start. 
and who knows? Before long, you might just find yourself well on your way to financial success. You can enjoy any audiobook for free by clicking on the link below the video. You can also find a list of suggested books and where to buy them below. The purpose of this video is to educate you on various aspects of investing and not to give you any specific investment advice. Investing involves risks and uncertainties, and you should always do your own research and consult with qualified professionals before making any financial decisions. However, past performance does not guarantee future results, and you should always consider the risk of investments before putting your money at stake. If you find this video helpful, I recommend you watch my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, feel free to leave your comment below. I appreciate your support and I see you in my next video.